Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here today. And today I have actually a really nice video for you. And this video shows you how awesome the testing community is. Because today I would like to show you a project that is completely driven by the software testing community. And I think it's a really valuable source of information and helpful for all of us. The project is called How They Test. And it's basically created by Abhijet Vaika. I hope I pronounced your name correct, Abhijet. Really, really appreciated what you have done together with your contributor, contributors. So let's take a look what the project is all about. Basically, what they did is they curated a collection of publicity available resources on how software companies test their software products. And it's like a really nice list of companies that actually um, do and block some some articles about testing, how they test their software, and it's all in that list. Make sure to check my video description for the link. And if you would like to support the project, I highly recommend it you to get um, to the Get Started section, as well as to get in contact with Abhijet to, um, yeah, to see how you can contribute to that project. But now let's take a look. So how do they test? Before we have like a little forward, and kind of topics that are included in this nice um, overview. So there are like companies that blog about functional testing, non-functional testing, test automation, testing in CI CD environments, how they do release management and how its impact on quality and testing is. They talk about quality processes and cultures. Furthermore, they do rewrite about testing and production, how they do monitoring, observability, chaos engineering, site reliability engineering and so forth and so forth and also which is really an important topic is how they do customer support in that case because the customer support colleagues are usually like the first tier frontline when it comes to customer feedback and this is really helpful information that you as a mobile development team or any other team that is not only working for mobile but for software projects should talk to because those colleagues have the, the latest insights from your user base. And last but not least, the overview also contains user research on how the companies do user testing from a product and from a UX perspective. So let's take a look what companies are included. As you can see, I'm scrolling down. It's a long list of really nice companies. So there's Airbnb, Amazon, Apple, Azos, Atlassian, BBC, Basecamp, and so forth, eBay, just naming a few of them because it's really a long list of things that uh, are collected on that page. And this is a really nice list. So let's take a look at, for example, let's take a look at Shopify. What kind of information do we find for Shopify? We have blogs and articles. We have videos that you can take a look at and to get information on how Shopify is testing their product. So they have an article, for example, uh, how to uh, test webhooks, um, how iOS application testing strategies for Shopify is handled, how they do mobile release engineering at scale with Shippet Mobile, and there are also some furthermore some videos about resiliency testing with Toxiproxy. So this sounds really amazing, right? But let's take another look at now. Well, let's go. Let's take a look at Slack. What is Slack doing in terms of software testing on their own products? They also published a, a, a series of blog articles on how they do Android UI automation, uh, building trust and making it easy to use. Furthermore, they provided some videos like UI testing is easy said no developer ever, so it sounds like a fun video, but I think there's like a lot of learning insights for you as well. And the list goes on, as I said, it's just really a long list of things that you should uh, take a look at. At the bottom line, you can see the contributors on that project. And this is a really nice list of people who put a lot of effort into collecting those articles, those videos, and make them all available in this really nice GitHub list. So if you're working in a company that is also doing really nice things about software testing, user testing, UX or this user testing, please get in contact with Abhijet and his crew to contribute to that list and to make it even more bigger and to provide even more information to us, the software testing community. That's really great. There are also some credits who delivered images and banners from this page. There's even a code of conduct. I highly recommend you to read it before you would like to submit anything here. And the license is under public domain. So once again, thank you very much, Abhijet and the crew of contributors who made this list available. Please take a look at the video uh, link description to get the latest information on how other companies are testing the product. 
It's a really a nice and insightful list. Thank you very much, Abhijit, again. And thanks also for coming by today for to take a look at this video and this nice project. If you like the project and if you like my video channel, I would highly recommend you to subscribe it to support me. That's what makes me really happy. Uh, give me also a thumbs up. Thank you and bye-bye.